I love the word copycat, copycat, that, you know, in falling in love with Jesus, we want to be images of Jesus. Church, today I want to talk about how you are never alone. You are never alone. Can we say that together? You are never alone. Say that to the person beside you. Another person beside you. Church, so today is usually the day in which the church celebrates the Feast of the Archangels. And this coming Wednesday, October 2, is the Feast of the Guardian Angels. So in the Catholic Church, whenever a feast day happens, a uh, feast day of a saint happens on Sunday, it is not celebrated. Even if that feast day is the feast day of the Blessed Mother or of Saint Joseph. Usually it's moved or it's not celebrated at all because Sunday is the preeminent day of the resurrection of Jesus. Every Sunday for us Catholics is Easter Sunday. But I want to talk about the angels today. I want to talk about the guardian angels. I want to talk about how in our life of Christians, of co-opting that is being copycats of Jesus, we know that somebody protects us, somebody loves us, and somebody wants to offer us healing and grace. The word angel literally means messenger. Huh? But there are angels, but there are ark angels or arch angels. The word arch or ark means bigger, major, greater. That's why our diocese is called the Diocese of Joliet, but Chicago is called the Archdiocese of Chicago. That person beside you, is that an arch or a small one? <laughs> you know, and, and these are called arch because in the Bible, they have been given as messengers a specific awesome task of God. The word, so in the church, in, uh, in the Bible, there are three archangels that were made known to us. Archangel first, what? Michael. Second, Gabriel. Third, what did you say? Mario? Uh, what? <laughs> I'm a small, small one. Uh, uh, Raphael. The word Michael means one who is like God because he is such a protector. In the scriptures, you will hear that Michael is always sent to protect his people, God's people. You know, that's why he is the prince of the angels because God wants to protect us. The word Gabriel means somebody, somebody that is sent to, he, to, to, to give the word. He is God's word. No wonder Gabriel was sent as a messenger of big glad tidings, especially to the mother of God, Mary, as, that she will conceive and bear a son, the Annunciation. He is the word of God. Third, Raphael, meaning God heals. Because in the book of Tobith, in the Old Testament, he was sent as an angel to heal Tobiah. To heal Tobiah. Now, angels, angels are of another category of God's creation. Uh, there is God, there are the angels, and there's us human beings. There is a misnomer out there that, you know, when we die, we become angels. No wonder this belief has crept on the postmodern culture in the last 30, 50 years. So sometimes you hear the word, oh, you are my guardian angel. Oh, you know, dad, who is past, like my dad, has become an angel. Or, you know, God needed an angel so that that, that's, the, that's the reason why he took your spouse or your child or this. Fake news, brothers and sisters. We don't become angels and angels don't become humans. Those are two different kinds of categories. Angels were created to serve God and to serve us. To serve us. 
Huh? Our guardian angels, whose feast day we celebrate this Wednesday, October 2, is given to us so that we will know that we are not alone. Even Michael is sent to protect us, Raphael to bring us God's healing, and the word of God through Gabriel, because God wants us to know that we are not alone. You know, in the first reading, you know, we heard that the spirit of Moses was given to 70 other elders. Because God wants the people of Israel to know that they are never alone. Did you notice how many times I said, you are not alone? A lot, right. <laughs> That's not a complaint, right? <laughs> because oftentimes, especially when the dark clouds are in our lives, not only do we feel, but oftentimes believe that we are alone. When you've done something bad, when you have become unfaithful to your family, or to your vows, when you have done something wrong in your life, you know, the enemy, the word, bro, ah, brothers and sisters, the word Satan means liar. Liar. And he is the father of lies. Because he will lie to you. He will tell you that's how you are. You're stupid. You cannot, you, you, you cannot be good to your family. You cannot provide. Forever you're going to have that sin. How dare you? You're so small, you're going to remain there. All lies. All lies. When you are sick, when you're in the hospital, in the emergency room, when the doctor tells you that you have cancer and that you have two months to live, the enemy tells this of you. You're gonna die. You're a loser. Don't tell anyone. Just be sad. Just feel alone. Heck, goodbye. And so we believe that we are alone. You know, the tactic of the evil one is to divide and conquer. Don't tell your husband. Don't tell your friend. Don't go to confession for that sin. No, don't. Divide and conquer. He wants you to feel and believe that you are alone. The church, church, my dear friends, the truth is so far from that fake news. The truth is this. God loves you so much that He will not ever leave you. Even your darkest moments, even your greatest sin, He would never leave you. He is always there. And not only that, He has provided for us supernatural assistance to help us in time of our needs. Can we bow our heads in prayer? Can we just bow our heads in prayer? And if your loved one is here, please hold their hand. Blessed are you to be able to hold somebody's hand because that also is the hand of God telling you you are not alone. And can we thank God today for our guardian angels? Those who inspire us to walk the pathways of God, to always cop copycat Jesus Christ, to always follow him, him as his disciples. Let's also thank Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael, these three archangels who never cease to serve us and serve God. And in the spirit of gratitude, in the spirit of gratitude, let's ask God that we will always listen, that we will always 
be in His presence and not listen to the words and the wiles of the enemy. Heavenly Father, we come before you and we thank you for giving us Jesus Christ. Jesus, come into our lives again. We make you the Lord and Master of our life. We make you the center of our life. Give us the grace to be joyful disciples, following your will, listening to the archangels and the angels, so that one day together with the angels, we will sing your glory. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Amazing grace.